National Anthem, just about ready for baseball here this afternoon at uh, Panther Field. I was talking about the uh, the three losses for Magnolia, Ashdown, Nashville, and uh, then the most recent loss was a 9-7 loss at Arkadelphia on the 11th. That's going to wrap up our Farmers Bank and Trust pregame show. Need checking and savings options for students ages 13 to 20? Stop by Farmers Bank and Trust, ask about their MyStart bundle, or visit myfarmers.bank slash mystart. Farmers Bank and Trust, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Gage Clover on the mound for the Panthers to start this one off. We'll take our final break, and this is Panther Baseball. Hey everyone, it's Andy Sharp, Market President at Bodcall Bank. We wanted to share a few words with you that embody who we are. Here at Bodcall Bank, we believe in relationships, access, collaboration, partnership, authenticity. Why? Because we desire a superior banking experience for our patrons. Whether you're purchasing a home, opening your grandkids' first savings account, or looking to partner in a business venture, Bodcall Bank is the community bank you deserve and the premier banking experience you can expect. For what's ahead, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. KBMA AM 630 and FM Translator 107.1, K296FC for Magnolia, Arkansas. Short-term plans may change, but stay focused on three lifetime goals. Planning for retirement, preparing for the unexpected, and creating an estate plan. Get in touch with one of Magnolia's Edward Jones Financial Advisors, Edward Jones, member SIPC. Magnolia Panther baseball this afternoon at Panther Field hosting the Nashville Scrappers. And we're ready to get underway again. Gage Clover on the mound for the Panthers. His first pitch, a high fastball, and that'll go off the top of the mitt of the uh, catcher, Jack Stevens, and back to the backstop. So got that one out of the way. Slade Slayton leads it off for Nashville. He's their shortstop. Next pitch comes again high with a fastball. Maybe a little nervous, overthrowing on the first couple of pitches. Two balls, no strikes to Slate Slate. Center fielder Caleb Halter will hit second. Then the pitcher, Carson Chambers. Boy, another high fastball from Clover, and he throws it back to the backstop. So he is definitely missing high early. you got to think the adrenaline is just pumping like crazy out there for Gage Clover. He knows. We talked about how big this game is. He knows. Her ball drops in for a strike just as Slayton was about to throw the bat. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Umpires don't like that. And there's ball four to Slate Slayton, so he draws the walk. That's how this one gets started. 3-1 pitch misses. So Slayton aboard for the uh, Nashville Scrappers. Brings in Caleb Halter, their center fielder. From the stretch, Clover comes in. High with a fastball. Again, missing, missing up. Again, Chambers hits third, their pitcher. Then the DH, Cason Willard. Coach Muldoon's going to go out and talk to his pitcher and try to calm him down a little bit. Hitting fifth, second baseman Tyler Brown. Then the third baseman, Mason Honey. The catcher, Dalton Manlove, will hit seventh. Followed by the uh, first baseman, Carson Kirby. And the right fielder, Hayden Gray. Defensively for the Panthers, Turner Alston is at third. That's normally Gage Clover's position when he's not pitching. Turner Alston over there today. Braden Sanchez is at short. Dalen Glass at second. D.J. Marshall at first. Around the outfield, Jackson Touch in left field. Camden Smith in center. And Jack Waller in right field. Jack Stevens behind the, behind the plate. And Gage Clover again on the mound as Coach Muldoon heads back to the dugout. 1-0 pitch to Halter. Runner going. The pitch is way high for a ball, and it's two balls and no strikes. He'll stretch and pitches. Fastball high. He is missing everything high. That fastball every time is, is high, high and higher, unfortunately. Runner at second. There's ball four. Umpire started to call it a strike. He flinched, but then calls it a ball. So runners at first and second after back-to-back walks for the Scrappers. Carson Chambers, their pitcher, will step in. He bats from the left side. So two Scrappers aboard with nobody out, and he's going to lay down a butt back to the pitcher. Clover's play will be to first. Sacrifice successful. 1-3 on the put out. 
One away. Slate moved up to third and Halter to second. Jason Willard now their designated hitter and cleanup hitter will come to the plate. First pitch from Clover. That's lifted in the air to right field. Tailing down the line. Waller makes the catch. And a tag at third. Here comes the throw. It is up the line. So a sacrifice fly to right off the bat of Cason Willard gets the first run across home plate. Sacrifice fly, a sacrifice bunt, then a sacrifice fly. And Nashville takes a 1-0 lead. Two out. The other runner advanced from second to third. There's a pitch under the chin of Tyler Brown, their second baseman. So one ball, no strike count to him. A pitch from Clover. Pass ball tailing in. It's two balls, no strikes. He's got to get one more out. 2-0 pitch, breaking pitch. That's a beauty dropped in there for a strike, 2-1. and one to Tyler Brown. Mason Honey is on deck, their third baseman. Hoping we don't see him till next inning. 2-1 delivery from Clover. Fast ball, skier right on the outside corner. 2-2 two, two count to Tyler Brown. One more time. The 2-2. Two, two. Breaking pitch down in the dirt. It gets away from the catcher. He doesn't know where it is, but uh, a runner stayed at third base as the pitcher, Clover, was coming in and Pointed it out to the catcher, Stevens. Counts full now. Three balls, two strikes to Tyler Brown. Clover goes off the full wind. Here's his pitch. And he checked his swing. Ball four. High fastball from Gage Clover. Doesn't sound like a broken record, but those fastballs, almost all of them are missing high. So runners at first and third. Two men out. Mason Honey at the plate. The pitch. The runner from first takes off and will not draw a throw. A stolen base for Tyler Brown. Runners at second and third with two out. Rover's pitch. Up again with a fastball. The letter our Magnet Regional Medical Center mid-game summary. Magnolia Family Medical Clinic, your full-service health care provider for all members of your family. That pitch misses low, an off-speed pitch. For all members of your family, ages, birth, through end of life, they accept patients by walk-in or with an appointment. Call the Magnolia Family Medical Clinic, 235-3555. And a fastball is high for ball four. That is the fourth walk of the inning for Gage Clover. And the bases are loaded now for Dalton Manlove, their catcher. Coach Muldoon, boy, you don't want to pull him in the first inning. You're hoping he can get somebody here and get out of this inning. Took a shot at right field off the uh, kind of waiter on the pitch a little bit. Went uh, went foul past first base with that one. Off-speed pitch. A one pitch now. Fastball again high. One ball, one strike. 1-1 one, one count. Base is loaded. Two out. The pitch on the way. That one misses low and away. It's a two ball, one strike count. Clover comes again. Breaking pitch. Fouled off to the right side. Out of play. Well, that evens the count of two balls, two strikes. Clover set. Comes. And high with a fastball. I think we just need to scratch the fastball for a while. It's a three-ball, two-strike count to Dalton Manlove. The pitch on the way. Breaking pitch pulled foul over to the Nashville dugout. Basically, that curve is all that he's getting across the plate. So I don't think he wants to throw a he wants to throw a fastball, but I'm not sure it's advisable. Let's see. Another payoff pitch coming. That is a fastball, and it's a strike, but it's fouled off to the right side now to play. So Manlove lives to see another pitch. Well, he got the uh, fastball over. That's good. He's gotten a few over, but uh, for the most part, they've missed time. Another 3-2 pitch coming from Clover to Manlove. Runners take off the pitch inside 
ball four that walks in a run. So yet another runner comes across the plate for Nashville. Two to nothing, Nashville leads. A walk and an RBI. That's the fifth walk of the inning. Carson Kirby, first baseman at the plate. The pitch from Clover and he hit him. That'll bring another run home. Came inside with a fastball there and hit him. So Kirby's aboard. Brown scores from third. Honey moves to third. Manlove down to second. Umpires are uh, coming together. Have a little conversation. Three runs scored here in the top of the first for Nashville. Signal safe, so I'm not sure if he, uh, that he stuck his elbow, chicken winged it. I didn't think he did either, but it's, hey, it's worth, worth a shot. The pitch to Gray. Fastball up for ball one. Bases full of scrappers. Doing all this without a hit. They've had five walks and a hit bat. Ninth man to bat in the inning. The pitch outside, two balls, no strikes. The catcher is going to go out and talk with his uh, with his pitcher. Chambliss just now going to the bullpen. It's going to be a little bit before he is ready to go. He came on in relief in the game on uh, Monday. But that's been a while ago. Two balls and no strikes to Hayden Gray. The pitch. High fastball. It's ball three. Over just cannot throw a strike. He is really struggling out there. 3-0 pitch coming. There's a strike. That one about bell tie on the outer part of the plate. Got to do it a couple more times, though. 3-1 delivery. Outside, ball four. In comes another run for Nashville. This is painful. Painful for Clover, you know. For his fans, I mean, everybody with sympathy. Uh, pitchers know, know what he's going through, but he just can't throw a strike. Bases are loaded. There's a swing and a miss, strike one. Slade Slam, very surprised. He was up there swinging on the first pitch. Four runs have scored. That pitch in the dirt. One ball, one strike to Slayton. He got the first run with a sacrifice fly to the cleanup hitter. So that was a, that was the second out of the inning. One-one pitch now swing and a miss. He might have chased one out of the zone there. It's one and two to Slayton. From the stretch, Clover, he comes, and he hit him. Did he, did he hit the bat? Oh, he hit the bat, excuse me, he hit the end of the bat. So he steps back in. It's a one ball, two strike count to Slate. Pitch from Clover, swing and a miss. Throws a fastball past him. Slayton strikes out. That's the third out of the inning, but not before four runs score. For the Nashville Scrappers, there were no base hits, no errors, and three men left on base. After a half inning, the Scrappers send 10 men to the to the plate, and uh, they score four times, 4 nothing Nashville. This is Panther Baseball. It's mighty hard to resist an order of Domino's Loaded Tots. You have your choice of three different mouth-watering toppings. There's Domino's Cheddar Bacon Loaded Tots with a perfect combo of gooey cheese and crisp bacon. Or how about Domino's Philly Cheese Steak Loaded Tots? Or last but not least, Domino's Melty Three Cheese Loaded Tots covered with a blend of mozzarella, cheddar, and provolone cheese. Plus Alfredo sauce. Add some Loaded Tots to your next Domino's order. Order online or on the Domino's app and earn piece of the pie rewards. Farmers Bank and Trust has always been about local service and investment in our community. And to prove that, we've just opened a brand new full service branch in Welcome at our Arklow location. We've also opened a new My Farmers iTeller ITM for extended live teller coverage in Taylor. These branches will offer all of our great services and even more convenience for our customers. So stop by today and come home to Farmers Bank. Farmers Bank and Trust, 
Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Agger Service Environmental Solutions in Magnolia is hiring for accounts receivable, accounts payable positions. Applicants must be fast paced and self motivated. Exceptional organization. A team player. Resumes can be sent to Misty Mitchell. That's M I S T Y M I T C H E L L A Y S 22 at yahoo.com. Again, Agger Service is hiring for accounts receivable, accounts payable positions. Agger Service and Fiber Mental Solutions, 1506 North Fine, Magnolia. Now we go to the bottom of the. Four runs in the top of the inning for Nashville. Panthers will set up Camden Smith. He's the leadoff hitter, their center fielder. Then the shortstop, Braden Sanchez. First baseman, D.J. Marshall, hits third. The cleanup hitter, the right fielder, Jack Waller. Carson Chambers, the pitcher for the Scrappers. He is a left-hander. And his first pitch on the way, and that is low for ball one. Four nothing score. Here's the pitch. Outside. Two balls, no strikes is the count. What's going on out there? The coach is going to come out and talk to his uh, his pitcher. I was I was curious about what all the screaming is over here. What is is that just the oh just going at each other? Okay. Two balls, no strikes. The coach is out there. The coach is out there talking to the umpires. They called an illegal pitch on the pitcher, Carson Chambers. So their coach is out there, Coach Zach Stewart, out there to talk with the umpires. Talking out there on the mound. Wants to make sure his, uh, his pitcher knows why it was uh, called an illegal pitch. So two ball, no strike count. Every game we spotlight a uh, Panther. Join us later for our Bud Call Bank Panther Spotlight. Highlight a different Panther athlete each game on our Bud Call Bank Panther Spotlight. Bud Call Bank, local bank, local people. Bud Call Bank serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Three locations to serve you. They're on Thomas Street and Stamps, 307 Thomas Street, North Jackson and Magnolia. That's 2125 North Jackson and Magnolia. And at 3625 Richmond Road in Texarkana. This has turned out to be a lengthy conversation between the Nashville coach and the uh, the umpiring crew. And he's going back to the uh, heading back to the dugout now. Not sure he's satisfied with what he heard, but uh, that's where he is headed. We're ready to go. Camden Smith will step back in. For Magnolia. It's a two ball, no strike count. Four nothing, Nashville after a half inning of play. Here's the pitch. Steer right on the outside corner. Umpire signaling one and one. Should be two and one, but the umpire signaling one and one. There's a foul ball to the right side. That is in foul ground, and the right fielder, Hayden Gray, chases it down. A foul ball out, out in, uh, in right field. Maybe if it's an illegal pitch, it doesn't count as a ball or a strike. I think that may be. Did he? Oh, okay. I don't know. Anyway, they settled out with the foul ball out, so Smith flies to right. Braden Sanchez to the plate for Magnolia. Here's the pitch. And that's chopped up the middle. Shortstop to his left. Slayton, he throws and pulled him off first base. Pulled him off to the outfield side and safe at first base is Braden Sanchez. That's bring up four. Well, that's going to have to be an error on the throw. He's six. So one on, one out for Magnolia here in the bottom of the first. D.J. Marshall comes to the plate for the Panthers. Pitch on the way. That's pulled to the left side. One hop, though, right to the third baseman. Oney down to second is, is a little high, but he's able to make the play and turn it over to first. Bang, bang, and out at first base. 
So they turn two, and the Panthers come up empty in the bottom of the first inning. No runs, no hits, one error, nobody left on. After one, four to nothing, Nashville leads. This is Panther baseball. Hey, this is Abby. If you need something hauled all over the country, then call my mom at Bo Moses Trucking at 870-234-2803. They can haul just about anything, and they have CDL drivers. Look, if you're going to trust someone with your property, I would choose Bo Moses Trucking, but that's just me. Bo Moses Trucking, 535 East Main in Magnolia. For all your long-haul needs, call Bo Moses Trucking, 870-234-2803. Go Panthers! Spring into another season of life with Chambliss and Davis Family Practice in Magnolia. Chambliss and Davis accepts patients of all ages, from newborn to elderly, with most insurances accepted, including United Healthcare. They do primary care, weight loss management, DOT physicals, cool scoping, BioT hormone physicals, and more. They're open Monday through Thursdays from 8 till 4 and Fridays 8 till noon. Your patient applications are being accepted. Be ready for whatever life brings you with Chambliss and Davis Family Practice, where your primary care is the primary concern. Welcome back to Panther Field. Magnet Trails 4-0 as we go into the second inning. First pitch foul back to the backstop. Clover back out to the mound for Magnolia. Hoping to recover from uh, what tough, tough, tough first inning. There's a strike call. Six walks and one hit batter in that first inning. There's the 0-2. Swing and miss. Down on strikes goes Caleb Halter. There you go. That's the way to start an inning. Well, that's back-to-back strikeouts going to the going back to the third out of the first. So there's one away. Carson Chambers now to the plate. Their pitcher. And the pitch. Swings and misses for strike one. He uh Sacrificed his first time up in the first inning. Her ball stays high. He's a tall young man, but not quite that tall. It's a one ball, one strike count to Carson Chambers. Here's the pitch from Clover. Fast ball in. Count goes to two and one. Kaysen Willard, their designated hitter on deck. Pitch to Chambers is up. Fast ball, and it's three and one. Ball drops in for a strike, three and two. So full count to Chambers. Clover comes with another fastball. That's hit deep to right field. Back it up is Waller, the right fielder. At the wall, it's off the wall, just above his head. Down to second base goes Chambers. He'll pull up there. A one out double off the wall in right field. So the scrappers threatening again here in the second inning, and they'll send out a uh, courtesy runner. I think that's, is that a two? I think that's a two on his back, Zeus Hutchison. And the pitch from Clover is popped up to the right side. Uh, Marshall takes a look, but it's going to get out of play. No balls, one strike to Kaysen Willard, their designated hitter. So Hutchinson. Courtesy running down at second base. Pitch comes foul back out of play. A two strike count on Case and Willard. Another one from Clover. Foul straight back. Case and Willard, or DH, who's batting now, he is a big fella. Here's the 0-2 curveball. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the catcher will throw it down and uh, take care of that. So Willard strikes out. That's second out of the inning. Runner at second. Hutchinson cannot advance. So he's still there with two out. And Tyler Brown to the plate for the Scrappers. First pitch to him. A fastball on the outside corner for a strike. 4-0 4-0 Nashville. We're in the top of the second inning. Clover checks second. Now comes in. And it's up and away. One ball, one strike to Tyler Brown. Here's the 
There's another one from Clover, breaking pitch, foul back at the uh, Magnet Regional Medical Center Primary Care Clinic. You always feel like family. Dr. Neal and Becky Pierce treat patients of all ages. Pitch outside. The runner's going to throw. High, it's going out in the left field. And the runner, Hutchinson, is going to come in and score. It'll be a stolen base as Hutchinson advances to third and then error on the throw from the catcher, Jack Stevens, that sailed into left field. So a stolen base and an error. And another run scores for the Scrappers. They're up 5 nothing now. Base is empty with two out. And the one-two pitch, that's lined foul and out of play. It's a you baseball team down there watching on the back of a... They got several trucks down there backed up to the fence. It's a you baseball team down there enjoying it. One-two pitch, foul straight back. Of course, Coach Muldoon was a mule rider for about six years. Here's the one-two pitch. Her ball drops in there for a strike. That's strike three called on Tyler Brown. He is rung up, and that retires the scrappers. But they do score one run in the inning on one base hit. There was one error, and nobody left on base. We go to the bottom of the second. Five-nothing Nashville. This is Panther baseball. I'm Faith Armstrong. If you worry about your safety or your loved ones, Columbia County Ambulance Service would like you to know about CareLink. CareLink provides an instant link to emergency response every minute, every day. The standard version provides protection surrounding the home, and a mobile unit offers protection anywhere. The area covered includes Columbia, Hempstead, Nevada, Washita, Lafayette Counties, and Claiborne Parish. Call Columbia County Ambulance today to schedule your installation. There are times in life when we find ourselves in need, when we call upon the help of our closest friends and family. As your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I live right here in Columbia County, and I'm here to help you and your family. I'm Steven Zorsch. Call me at 234-1966 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote, and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. That's Steven Zorsch at 234-1966. Okay, Carson rather. Carson Chambers back to the mound for the uh, Scrappers. Scrappers wearing, uh, I think it's brown. They, they got the orange pinstripes. Their color is orange. They got, I think, I th it's either brown or black. I think it's brown uniforms with orange pinstripes on them and orange numbers. Panthers in their home white uniforms with the red trim and the red numbers. And leading it off in the second for Magnolia is Jack Waller, the right fielder and cleanup hitter for the Panthers. First pitch to him is high for ball one. Panthers got a man on with an error in the first, but he was erased by a double play. The pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss for a strike. One ball, one strike. That pitch misses. Two and one the count on Jack Waller. It'll be Waller, then the left fielder Jackson Touch, then the D.H. Walker Carter. Two one delivery is high. It's three and one. Chambers ready for another. Here it comes. And that's a high strike just as Waller took a skip toward first. The umpire calls it strike two, so three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch from Chambers on the way, and that's low and outside for ball four. So, Waller is aboard, the leadoff man for the Panthers here in the second inning. Jackson Touch will be the hitter. Five-nothing Nashville, we're in the bottom of the second inning. Chambers from the stretch to the plate. And a strike called. Fastball. That was a little off the plate, maybe even a little high, but it's called strike to Jackson Touch. Throw to first. Runner is back. If you could have had that wide of a strike zone, you could have helped out uh, Clover a little bit in the first inning. 
Here comes the 0-1 pitch. That's lifted in the air to right field. Down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, Gray. But it hangs up, and he makes the catch in foul ground. So touch fouls out to the right fielder, Hayden Gray. Well, of the four outs for the Panthers so far in this game, two of them have been like that one, a deep fly ball to right that was caught in foul ground. So one on one out, Walker Carter's at the play. On the stretch, Chambers, he comes in. That's called strike to Carter. Dalen Glass is on deck. It's Jack Waller over at first base getting his lead. Inches back. Now he inches off a little more. Chambers from the stretch comes to the plate. That's high, a fastball. And throw down to first base from the catcher. It's off the glove of the first baseman, Kirby, but tipped over to the second baseman, Brown. So Waller will stay right there. It's ball on a strike. Cloudy skies, mostly cloudy anyway, and hoping to fight off any rain. There's a pitch that's high. Mule Riders hoping for the same thing this weekend as they're hosting their final regular season home conference series against Northwestern Oklahoma State. Pitcher threatened to throw, did not throw. He stretches. Good lead for Waller at first. The 2-1 pitch coming in. A fastball, a called strike on Walker Carter. Two ball, two strike count to Carter. Chambers ready once again. The pitch comes, pull foul past third base. Count two balls, two strikes. Pull up the old radar here. I don't see anything anywhere in our area. Been a lot of rain in southeast Arkansas all day and down in Louisiana. That's all moving east. 2-2 2-2 pitch on the way, strike three on the outside corner, throw to first base, and just getting back in there is Jack Waller. So Walker Carter called out on strikes. And there are two out. That might have been a little closer than strike one and strike two, but... Uh, I don't think any of them were in the strike zone. They should have been all been outside. Dale and Glass at the plate. He swings and misses for strike one. Not that, not that I'm not that I'm a little biased or anything. No balls in a strike to Dale and Glass. Gage Clover on deck. The pitch on the way. And a swing and a miss for strike two. Glass in the hole, no balls, two strikes. We need a gapper. Glass stepped out. He's back in now. Chambers is ready. 0-2 delivery. The runner goes. The pitch is outside. The throw to second is high, and Waller slides in safely. Stolen base for Jack Waller. So one ball, two strike count for Dalen Glass. Base hit could get the Panthers on the board. Trailing 5 nothing. Four runs in the first inning for Nashville. The pitch to Glass. He swings and he misses. Race for that one a little bit. Down on strikes goes Dalen Glass. He strikes out. In the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. One man left on. We're through two. It's five to nothing, Nashville. This is Panther Baseball. Winning in sports is about calling the right play, followed by flawless execution. If you need a hotel in Magnolia, the right play is to call Holiday Inn Express. Then their team will execute your stay with a clean, comfortable room, fresh, hot breakfast with healthy options, and access to their fitness center and Wi-Fi, along with plus one reward points for your stay. Call the right play for your visiting friends and associates. Call the Holiday Inn Express in Magnolia. 
Hey guys, Lucas Cheatham back to tell you about HealthQuest Therapy. Spring brings out the best things like vacations and time at the lake. Gone fishing lately? Well, out on the water is where you'll always find me. Some days, fishing out of a boat can really test my balance. You may feel off balance at times yourself. I'm on Christy and her team provide physical, occupational, speech therapy, dry needling, and even offer vital stem therapy for swallowing problems. Visit online at healthquesttherapy.net or stop by 1515 East Main in Magnolia today. Oh yeah, I got another bite. Every game with Spotlight of Panther. Join us later for our Bot Call Bank Panther Spotlight. I let a different Panther athlete each game on our Bot Call Bank Panther Spotlight. Bot Call Bank, local bank, local people. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bot Call Bank in Magnolia, Stamps, and in Texarkana. Mason Honey leads it off for the Scrappers. Top of the third. First pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Letter high. Here's the 0-1. Curveball. Fouled off to the right side. Out of play. Tomorrow at Hope. And then a couple of home games next week. There's a strike three called on the outside corner. Only rung up. Well, he gave, he gave that back the other way. So uh, if that's going to be a consistent uh, strike from now on that's fine i just wish it had been in the first of course most of those were missing high curveball drops in for a strike to dalton manlove one out base is empty manlove their catcher the pitch to him from clover a fastball that's called strike hey he's giving that outside corner we'll take it i suspect both pitchers will be uh, taking advantage of that oh two pitches up they're going to appeal to say uh, they thought he might have gone around, but uh, he did not. It's a one ball, two strike count to man love. Carson Kirby, their first baseman's on deck. Curveball. Chopped a couple of times over to Short Sanchez. Fields pulled him off at first, but Marshall applies the tag. So 6 3 on the put out. There are two away, and it brings Carson Kirby to the plate for the Scrappers. Joined us late, just a, oh, just a terrible top of the first inning. But the Scrappers at the plate, they scored uh, four runs without the benefit of a hit. Clover just could not, he just really struggled, couldn't find the strike zone, but uh, he's got it down now. There's a curve in there for a strike, and he's ahead of Carson Kirby. No balls, two strikes. Pitch on the way from Clover. Fastball, a little high. That's a good spot for a high fastball. A lot of time you can get him to chase that. He didn't. So it's one and two. There's a fastball for a strike. A swing and a miss by Kirby. And one, two, three go the Scrappers in the top of the third inning. They lead 5 nothing over Magnolia. This is Panther Baseball. Hi, folks. Jim Golden with Jim Golden, Ford Lincoln, and Camden. They say no matter what you do, you need to do it better than everyone else. Well, that's our commitment to you, to sell you a new or used vehicle better than everyone else. How simple. We say what we do, we do what we say. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, come see us at Jim Golden, Ford Lincoln, and remember, it's worth a short drive to get a great deal at Jim Golden, Ford Lincoln, and Camden, where the dealer is the difference. At L. Jennings Law, we understand that your legacy isn't just about assets. It's about family, future, and impact. Specializing in estate planning, elder law, and disability, we bring big firm expertise to our local community. Whether you're looking to protect your hard-earned wealth, navigate the complexities of elder care, or secure disability rights, we're here for you. Dial 501-501-WILL or visit ljenningslaw.com. Now with offices in Magnolia and Little Rock, L. Jennings Law, a good steward firm. Five nothing Nashville as we go to the bottom of the third time for our Panther Spotlight as we go along here in the bottom of the third. Brought to you by Bot Call Bank 2125 North Jackson in Magnolia. Also 307 Thomas and Stamps and 3625 Richmond Road in Texarkana. Bot Call Bank has been serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bot Call Bank in our spotlight 
is Jasney Harris, who is on the Magnolia basketball and track teams. Uh, Itera, Itera Harris, uh, I'm not sure, Itera, it's spelled I-T-E-R-A, according to Jasney. I'm just not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm going to go several different ways and probably get it wrong every way I go. But uh, Itera, Itera, uh, Itera, um, anyway, Mrs. Harris, how about that? Uh, is Jasney's mother and uh, favorite teacher, Mrs. Cooper Smith. There's a strike called as we're underway in the bottom of the third. Gage Clover at the plate took a strike on the outside corner. Here's the pitch. Tried to hold up, but he went around. Strike two to Clover. Clover, then Alston, then the top of the order to Camden Smith. On the stretch, Chambers pitch. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Clover. One out here in the bottom of the third. Turner Alston to the plate. Back to Jasney Harris, our Bot Call Bank Panther spotlight. Uh, off campus in basketball training. After high school, wants to go to LSU, become a coach, and make the best out of uh, her life. There's a strike call. So Jasney Harris in our Bot Call Bank Panther spotlight. Again, the service of Bot Call Bank, serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Pitches up. One ball, one strike count on Turner Alston. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. That's outside. 2-1. Two and one. There is a point outside at which it will not be called a strike. 2-1 pitch. There's a swing, a foul tip. Strike two. Turner Alston. Top of the order with Camden Smith. Do up next. 2-2 two, two delivery. And a swing and a miss and down on strikes goes Turner Austin. Back to back strikeouts to start this third inning. And that's four strikeouts in a row for Carson Chambers going back to last inning. And that's five Panthers in a row shut down by Chambers. Gave up a leadoff walk in the last inning, but then got the next three. Pitch to Camden Smith is on the way. And that's a strike off beat pitch on the outside corner for a strike. So it's a no ball, one strike count to Camden Smith. Pitch on the way. That bounces up there for ball one. One ball, one strike. Big game. The uh, Scrappers with a one game lead over Magnolia in the conference standings. Scrappers with two conference losses, Magnolia with three, and then a group with four each. 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. So Camden Smith behind on the count, one ball, two strikes. Carson Chambers comes in with another, and he threw that one, that one way outside and all the way to the backstop. Count two balls, two strikes. Two-two pitch now from Chambers on the way, and that's lifted into shallow right. That's going to drop for a base hit, just barely out on the outfield grass. So Chambers, down off the end of the bat, able to flare it out into right field. Two-out single for Camden Smith. Let's see if Magnolia wants to do any running. Any getting down there to scoring position. Sanchez at the plate. Braden Sanchez. Steps into the box. And the pitch comes to him. Blowing inside ball one. Moving on deck, D.J. Marshall. One ball, no strikes to Sanchez. Pitch on the way. Off the end of the bat, but right to the second baseman, Brown. And he'll flip it to second to get the force play. And that will retire the Panthers. In the inning, no runs off one hit, no errors. One man left on. We're through three, and it's 5-0 Nashville. This is Panther Baseball. 
As leaders in the automotive industry, Magnolia Motor Company believes in going the extra mile for our customers. That's why we offer only the best inventory with competitive pricing designed to fit your budget and make the vehicle of your dreams become reality. And that's not all. At Magnolia Motor Company, we value your time and convenience. That's why we offer a virtual shopping experience, allowing you to explore our inventory from the comfort of your own home. We are conveniently located on the 7982 Bypass in Magnolia. Call 234-4777 or visit our website at magnoliamotorcompany.com. Magnolia Motor Company. Quality per Magnolia Travel Center is the only homegrown fuel stop in Magnolia and offers premium non-ethanol gas, great for ATVs, boats, lawnmowers, and other small engines. They also offer off-road diesel. These fueling options are offered at your convenience night or day, seven days a week, and are located on the last two fueling bays in the back of the store. Endless breakfast options, daily lunch specials, the Flavor Shot Fountain Center, salads, pizzas, and more. Lower prices with a local feel. It's Magnolia Travel Center. Full menus available on magnoliatravelcenter.com. So we go in the top of the fourth inning. Nashville's leadoff hitter fouls it back out of play. Hayden Gray, their number nine hitter in the order, leading it off. Well, Clover has retired five uh, scrappers in a row. See if he can keep that roll going. Curveball a little bit low on outside. One ball, one strike. After Gray, they'll get back to the top of the order. Slate Slayton, then Caleb Halter. On one pitch, that's foul back to the backstop. So it's one and two. Back near Regional Medical Center mid-game summer. We're going to bring that to you as we go along through this inning. American Cancer Society recommends women receive annual mammograms beginning at age 40. There's a liner down the left field line. That's just foul. Just foul. Kind of a cue shot off the end of the bat. Magnolia Regional Medical Center, they offer state-of-the-art digital mammography in a comfortable and friendly environment. You can give them a call to schedule your appointment at 235-3516, 235-3516, Magnolia Regional Medical Center. One ball, two strikes to count on Hayden Gray. And a fastball up. Count goes to two balls, two strikes. Well, each of these pitchers has only given up one hit. One hit apiece. There's the 2-2. Breaking pitch. Dropped low. Count full three balls and two strikes. Goldberg thought it was strike three. Gage, since the uh, since the wildness in that first inning, there's the 3-2. That's outside. Ball four. So it's leadoff walk for Hayden Gray. It's only his first walk since the first inning. He he walked six, though, in that first, and he hit a batter. They were able to score four runs in that first inning without the benefit of a hit. Throw the first runners back. And then added one in the second after a one-out double and uh, came in on a, on a throwing error as they stole third and then throwing error from the catcher went into left field, so the runner came in to score Lead it first. Showing bunt. Tried to bunt it down, but bunted it foul at the plate. So that's a foul ball, and Gray will have to return to first base. Caleb Halter is on deck for the Scrappers. So, again, they scored four runs in the first, one in the second. Those are the runs so far for the Scrappers. Panthers have not scored as of yet. Runner dove back into first base. Now gets back up the pitch outside. Breaking pitch. One ball, one strike. Panthers have had a runner on in each inning, but have not been able to bring anyone around to score as of yet. Throw to first, and he's back in there again. Four strikeouts for Carson Chambers, the Nashville pitcher. Throw it. Again to first, and again he's back in there. Six strikeouts for Clover. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Uh, the time time was called. I think the batter asked for time, and it was granted by the home plate umpire. So time called. He called time just before the, uh, he delivered that pitch. 
Throw to first, runners back. From the stretch, Clover. Here's his pitch, shows Bunn again as his third baseman, Alston, was charging the pitch outside. So two ball, one strike count to Slade Slate. Slade walked and scored in the first. He struck out also in the first, the third out of that inning. So two ball, one strike count. And the pitch, he pushes it toward the first baseline, but it goes foul. He popped it up. Fortunate for him that it went foul, or it quite possibly would have been caught by the pitcher, Clover. The runner again will have to return to first base. Two balls, two strikes on Slate. Slate. Gray gets his lead. Here's the pitch. Curveball pulled foul past third. Coach snagged it. Zach Stewart, head coach of the Scrappers, assisted by Aaron Worthen. 2 2 pitch. Fastball up three and two. Slade's uh, dad, Kyle Slayton, was the head coach at Nashville for quite a few years before retiring, I think last year. Three two count to Slayton, and he pops it up out into shallow center field, backing out second baseman Glass. He's there, makes the catch. So one out. Slayton flies out to second. One away with one on. And Caleb Halter comes to the plate for the Scrappers. He has walked and scored, also struck out. Gray, a big lead over there. The pitcher stepped off. Now throw over there just as he starts to step off at first. Clover threw it over there. Good lead at first for Gray. And the pitch comes and misses. One ball, no strikes to Caleb. Pitcher Carson Chambers is on deck. Clover comes with another curveball in there for a strike. It's a ball and a strike now to Halter. One hit for the Panthers as we continue with our Magnetic Regional Medical Center mid-game summary. Now, Clover steps off. That was a, a double with two out, or with one out, rather, in the second inning. There's the pitch down to second base, a stolen base for Hayden Gray. That was the one hit for the Scrappers, I'm sorry, for uh, Carson Chambers. Doubled, came around to score in the second. The Panther hit a single from Camden Smith with two out in the previous half inning. 2-1 pitch coming. That's fouled off to the right side, and that'll get out of play. Again, the Panthers going to Hope tomorrow. And then next week, they got Malvern here on Tuesday and Queen here on Friday of next week. Base runner of the Scrappers comes in. Got something. Stuck in his mouth. They come get a piece of gum? <laughs> I don't know, but he's back at second now. It had to be a mouthpiece yet. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. High with a fastball. Runner's going. Throw down to third base is not in time. He, uh, he hesitated a little bit with the throw as he didn't have anybody covering over at third base, so the delayed throw, and Gray steals third. So he is at third base. It's a full count, and a breaking pitch is low and outside, and that's ball four. So Caleb Halter walks. First and third now with one out for the Scrappers. Carson Chambers, their pitcher, will step in. Runners at first and third with one out. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Nashville leads 5-0. Clover's pitch. It's high, a fastball, ball one. The 
defense shading a little bit toward right in the outfield. The runners go in. The pitch swung on. High fly ball out into shallow right. Glass backs out. He's under it. And he makes the catch. Now tag at third, and the throw to the plate is airmailed. Goes all the way to the backstop, and that'll get the runner from first down to second. He was not going until the throw went high at home. I couldn't believe that he tagged and tried to score on that shallow of a fly ball, but he did, and he comes in and scores. So Gray scores. Here's the pitch from Clover, breaking pitch outside. So Halter is down at second. Two men are out. And the next pitch. And he hit him with a fastball. That'll put runners at first and second. So first and second with two out. And the pitch from Clover is foul straight back and out of play over the backstop. Two out, two on. Again, without the benefit of a base hit. Scrappers have only had one hit in this game. They got six runs on the board. The pitch to Tyler Brown. And it's hit in the air to the right field, down the right field line. Right fielder over there to make the catch. Right on the line or maybe just in foul ground as... Jack Waller hauls it in, and that retires the side. In the inning, one run on no base hits. There was one error, and two men left the board. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Magnolia Trail 6 0. This is Panther Baseball. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, they can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool, too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. It cannot be combined with combo meal. Getting your prescriptions filled is easy at Prince Pharmacy in Magnolia. Become one of their many satisfied customers. You can refill your prescriptions with Prince Pharmacy's mobile app, also with their website, PrincePharmacyRx.com. Prince Pharmacy has a 24-hour refill line, too. 234-7292. Call before noon for same-day free delivery. They have a convenient drive through too, at Prince Pharmacy in the Southern Medical Group Clinic at 211 East Stadium in Magnolia. Carson Chambers back to the mound for the Scrappers. Again, it's hard to believe that each pitcher is throwing a one-hitter, but the Scrappers have a six-to-nothing lead on Magnolia as we go into the, the fourth inning. Meet of the order due up here for the Panthers. There are three, four, and five hitters. DJ Marshall, Jack Waller, and Jackson Touch due up here in the fourth inning. And it's it's getting to the time that the uh, Panthers need to, uh, they don't need to get it all at once, but they need to get some of those runs back. Trailing 6 nothing going into the bottom of the fourth inning. The pitch on the way is a breaking pitch high for ball one. SAU at home this weekend, again the final time during the regular season this season against Northwestern Oklahoma State. There's a pitch up and away. They're playing two tomorrow and then one on Saturday. Now the times may change. There's the 2-0, and that's popped up on the infield on the left side. Slayton, the shortstop, is under it. He makes the catch, so Marshall flies out to short. There's one away here in the fourth inning for the Panthers and brings Jack Waller to the plate. SAU scheduled to start at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the first of two. We shall see if they if they stay with the 3 o'clock start. Do they make any changes? But uh, there could be some changes to the times over the weekend. There's one foul back in that play. Well, one thing in the GAC, you cannot play three games in one day. Friday is the best day weather-wise. Not looking good Saturday. Um... I don't know how early you can start on Saturday. 
sure there's a rule somewhere that says how early you can start. Here's the 0-1 pitch to Jack Waller. It's up and away. Ball one, one and one. Otherwise, Coach Pettigrew may say, well, we'll just start at 12.01 a.m. on Saturday before the rain gets here. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch up and away. And, and it wouldn't surprise me if they don't start a little early tomorrow, just in anticipation of having to start early on Saturday. But we'll see. Here's the 2-1 pitch. That's lined out to left field. Left fielder coming on. It's going to drop in, though, for a base hit. So Jack Waller with a one-out single to left. There's another base runner for the Panthers. Only the second hit for the Panthers in this game. Well... They took away the no-hitter last inning. Maybe this inning will take away the, the shutout from Carson Chambers. 6 nothing right now. The pitch comes. Ground ball to the right of the shortstop. He throws to second for one on to first. Not in time. Not hit hard enough to turn two. 6-4 on the force down at second base. So there are two out. Touch aboard at first for Magnolia. Walker Carter at the plate, the DH for the Panthers. Two men are out. One on for Magnolia here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And the pitch comes, a swing and a miss at a fastball, strike one. Throw to first from the catcher, he's back. Game time, 5 o'clock tomorrow at Hope. We'll be on the air tomorrow with that one at 445. One pitch, foul tip, back off the catcher's mitt, then back to the backstop. 0-2 on Walker Carter. Dale and Glass on deck for the Panthers. Retrieve that baseball. 0-2 count on Carter. Chambers has his side catcher, sets up way outside. Behind the other batter's box, a fastball, and he he, he painted it, but uh, that was well outside, and... Uh, Catcher looks back to the umpire and probably asked him, what, was that outside? A little bit too far, huh? One and two the count. Pitcher steps off. It's a muggy night here tonight. What do we got? We got a balk. Okay, so down to second base goes touch. touch. Pitcher Chambers, I thought he just stepped off to wipe his brow, but he balked. So touch it second with Carter at the plate. The one-two pitch is just foul past third base. A couple of hops fielded by their third baseman, Honey. I don't think he would have had a, had a shot at Carter at first base with that one, but but it was just foul. Uh, Waller was there in the in the second. He stole second, stranded there. Ball and two strikes. And the pitch comes. Fastball outside. Two balls, two strikes. Throw down to second base as uh, Touch took off about halfway to third base and then had to retreat. The throw down and he got back. It's a two ball, two strike count. Touch again gets a good ways off second base. And, 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 a, and a little bit more as the pitch comes and he's off the end of the bat, a foul ball. Over to the on-deck circle. Count stays 2-2 on Walker Carter. We need something for these fans to cheer about. Pitcher steps off. Two balls, two strikes. He back on. Chambers stretches, delivers. And a curveball low and a delayed steal and in safely is Jackson Touch. So Touch slides in safely. He's 90 feet away. The count's full. Three balls, two strikes to Walker Carter. Panthers trying to get on the board. Here's the payoff pitch. That's hit in the air out to right field. It's going to carry, though, to Gray. He squeezes it in right field, and that retires the Panthers. In the inning, no runs on one hit, no errors, one man left aboard. After four, 6 nothing Nashville, this is Panther Baseball. Best car, watch, rock.
rocket fast. It's a blast. And your vehicle is clean. Rocket Fast Unlimited Wash Plans are the best way to keep your car spotless. Now our washes and plans are even more affordable. Did you know you can purchase our Fast Pass for the price of a single wash? That's right. Wash your car as many times as you want for 30 days for the price of a single wash. There has never been a better time to get your Fast Pass. Join thousands of others who already enjoy unlimited washing at all of our locations. Rocket Fast, the fast and easy way to wash your car. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, see Shelter Agent Gary Dunfera. Six nothing Nashville as we go to the uh, fifth inning. Got a new pitcher out there for the Panthers. That Chambliss, yeah, that's that's young Mister Chambliss out on the mound for the uh, Panthers. Carter Chambliss, who um, takes over for Gage Clover. We saw Chambliss uh, on on in Monday's game. He came on in relief of Dale and Glass in that game at Camden on uh, Tuesday. Glass went three and two-thirds, and Chambliss came on and, and went the rest of the way, and he was, he's on the mound now for the Panthers. First man he faces, Mason Honey. Their third baseman, Honey, Manlove, and Kirby do up for the Scrappers. Pitch from Chambliss, missed low for ball one. Carter Chambliss, also a right-hander. 1-0 pitch. That's popped up on the infield on the left side. Sanchez shields his eyes from the sun. There's not much sun out there, just, uh, just a little bit there. I think the only shadow being cast out there was Sanchez at short. He makes the catch. So there's one out. Dalton Manlove, the catcher, now will step in. And now the sun goes back behind the cloud. The pitch to Manlove from Chambliss. Low and inside for ball one. Give you the numbers on... Uh, Starter Clover as we go. Curveball misses outside to Dalton Manlove. Six runs off the starter Clover. The pitch foul back and out of play. They were. All earned except one. Her ball goes the other way. One hop to the second baseman, and he is out at first base as Glass throws him out. Four three on the put out. First two batters return for the Scrappers here in the top of the fifth. That brings Carson Kirby to the plate. The stretch, Chambliss pitch, breaking pitch, swing and a miss to the back door curveball with the left-handed hitting uh, Kirby up there. Chambliss ready once again. Here's his pitch outside. It's a ball and a strike. That pitch misses outside. That's Two and one. Swing and a miss there. Two balls, two strikes to count.
Here's the next one from Chambliss. Backdoor curve. He got him. Down on strikes. Called out on strikes is Carson Kirby. So the scrappers go one, two, three in the top of the fifth inning. Still 6 nothing, Nashville. This is Panther Baseball. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the experienced team at Southern Caregivers provides expert care to you and your loved ones. Southern Caregivers also provides needed support for seniors, allowing them to remain in the comfort of their own home and maintain their independence. The nurturing and caring companions can be matched to meet emotional, spiritual, and physical needs of the individuals they care for. Call 501-463-9990 today and speak with one of our professionals or visit southerncaregiversar.com. Southern Medical Group welcomes the newest member to their expert team, nurse practitioner Haley Quintana. Haley sees all patients, no matter the age, during the hours of 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Most insurances are accepted. Southern Medical Group has you covered no matter the health issue, from allergies and colds to DOTs and screenings. Stop by 211 East Stadium Street in Magnolia or call 870-234-5995. Southern Medical Group, our family taking care of yours. If you're like most Americans, you spend over eight hours a week in your car. So naturally, you want to be satisfied with its performance. That's why you need to know about Spitler Tire and Auto. Folks around here have been trusting Spitler Tire and Auto for over 17 years. They have 10 service bays to handle all kinds of repairs, tune-ups, brakes, mufflers, oil changes, tires, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, trust the experts at Spitler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center, 521 East Main and Magnolia. Know you. Bottom three in the order due up here in the fifth for the Panthers. Dale and Glass, Gage Clover, and Turner Alston. Actually, that's not Clover. That's uh, Carter Chambliss. They just did a did a full swap there, so Chambliss will bat for uh, in Clover's spot. There's a bunt attempt, pushed it to the right side, but it goes foul. So here in the fifth inning, Glass, Chambliss, and Alston do up. 6 nothing Nashville. A one pitch, Carson Chambers is back out on the mound. His curveball is up. For a ball carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's. All their one topping pizzas included on any of Domino's five crusts. Also, eight piece wings for boneless chicken and Domino's dip and bread twist combos, too. Just $7.99 each. Showing butt. The pitch was in on him. He had to pull it back. And it's ball two, two and one on Dale and Glass. Need some base runners. Getting late. Down six nothing. And the pitch, he pushes it up the first baseline, trying to beat it out. The pitcher, though, gets there, bare hands and underhands to his first baseman, Kirby. And Chambers able to get glass out over at first base. It's 1-3 on the put out. That's a good idea. Tried to bunt it. It took a perfect play there by Chambers to get him out. He was able to, uh, to come through for him. Put it over almost on the first baseline. Maybe about a foot fair, maybe two. There's a swing and a miss at a high fastball by Carter Chambliss. Strike one. Turner Alston moves on deck. From the stretch, the pitch to Chambers. Swing and a miss at a breaking pitch for strike two. After the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. Here comes the 0-2 pitch, and it's outside. One, one and two on uh, Chambliss. For you lock in a mortgage rate online, talk to People's Bank first. Pitch in the dirt, and it'll go back to the backstop. I'll repeat that. Before you lock in a mortgage rate online, talk to People's Bank first. People's Bank offers great rates on mortgage loans for a new home purchase and refinancing. Plus, People's Bank makes it so easy by being with you every step of the way. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Swing and a miss. Down on strike, goes Chambliss. Two out. Now Turner Alston will step in. 
top four teams in the conference will go to the regional next week. Or not next week, the week after next. Still got the regular season, two more regular season games next week. Week after that, the regional in Nashville. Swing and a miss, strike one for Turner Austin. No balls, one strike. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss for strike two. May 2nd, the first day of the regional there in Nashville. No balls, two strikes. And the pitch is fouled back out of play. The second is a Thursday, by the way. So it'll start on Thursday. I think it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday there at, at Nashville. Yeah, it wraps up on Saturday the 4th. Got to win your first game. It's not double elimination in the first round. So if you don't win your first round game, you will not be going to the state tournament. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. Austin strikes out. Panthers go in order in the bottom of the fifth inning. We are through five. It's a 6 nothing Nashville lead. This is Panther Baseball. What are you waiting for? Stop warming the bench and join a winning team at the Corner Clubhouse on the Magnolia Square. The Corner Clubhouse is currently hiring for kitchen and wait staff positions. Email your resume to tccmagnolia at gmail.com or stop by 100 South Washington and fill out an application. If you don't have a resume, just email your information. No phone calls, please. For updates, follow the Corner Clubhouse on Facebook. The Corner Clubhouse, serving South Arkansas since 2016. Tri-County Oil is a proud sponsor of Magnolia Panther Sports. Tri-County is your number one source for a complete line of Exxon Mobil oils, K1 kerosene, mineral spirits, antifreeze, no-tax farm diesel, tax-paid road diesel, and 91-octane non-ethanol gasoline, plus gear oil, grease, motor and hydraulic oil, transmission fluids, and more. Tri-County Oil on North Vine in Magnolia. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5. Why would you go anywhere else for oil or gas? We appreciate your business at Tri-County Oil. The Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place have been recognized as Arkansas's top short-term rehabilitation and long-term care facility by U.S. News and World Report. At Wentworth Place, their mission is to provide the highest quality care to their residents, and they are honored to receive this prestigious award. Their cottages are homes large enough to comfortably accommodate 12 elders with private rooms, complete bath, a shared living room, open kitchen, dining area, and a spa. Located in the heart of Magnolia, it's the Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place. Visit cottagesofwentworthplace.com. Scrappers, as we go into the top of the sixth inning with our number nine hitter, Hayden Gray, up there. He takes ball one inside. In case you're wondering about the forecast for the next few days, since we've got all this baseball to play, there's the 1 0 pitch first, fell back out of play. Magnet plays at Hope tomorrow, and again, SAU playing at home against Northwest Oklahoma State tomorrow and Saturday. Got a 50% chance tonight. Talking about there's one foul back out of play. Earlier, the forecast was talking about possibly some severe weather tonight. Then the rain chances dropping out to 20% tomorrow, 40% then on uh, Friday night. Pitch pulled to the left side, a little slow liner off the end of that goes to the uh, third baseman for the Pan Panthers, Alston. Calls it in for out number one. As we get into, like I said, chances go up Friday night, up 40% late Friday night, and then 70% chance on Saturday of some rain. Off-speed pitch, swinging a foul at the plate off the bat of Slate Slate. No balls and a strike. Pitches outside. I haven't seen Kyle here tonight. I bet you he's... Is he down there? Okay. That pitch... Well, I know the, I know the beard. I didn't see the... Oh, it's... Her. Her head's blocking his beard. Otherwise, I would have recognized him with his beard. 
Yeah, so Kyle is here, dad of Slade. Kyle pitched a number of years at SAU. There's a strike call to Slade Slayton in the SAU Sports Hall of Fame. Two balls, two strikes. Round ball to the right side, slowly hit. Glass comes in, fields, throws out at first base. 4-3 on the put out, so two outs recorded in this inning. Neither one of those balls hit very hard. Neither was very solidly hit. The little slow liner to, to third, and now the little slow ground ball to second to Glass. There are two out, and Caleb Halter is at the plate. Her ball stays high, ball one. After the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. You know, People's Bank will send you a text or email every time you use your People's Bank debit card. Fastball, that's lifted in the air. Out to left center field. Center fielder Smith going back, and he hauls it in out of the left center field gap. And one, two, three, go the Scrappers in the top of the sixth inning. 6 nothing. Nashville leads. This is Panther Baseball. Know what's nice? You could drive to Whataburger right now if you wanted to. Yeah, you could hang a Louie, talk to Reggie at the counter, and get a freshly made 100% beef double meat Whataburger with melted cheese and fresh cut veggies on a 5-inch bun. It's just the delicious freedom you have living in the land where there's Whataburger. Of course, some people aren't in that land. wonder what they're doing right now. Probably thinking about a road trip. Whataburger, just like you like it. The Magnolia Regional Medical Center General Surgery Clinic at 1005 North Jackson in Magnolia is excited to introduce to Magnolia Dr. Jose Zamora, General Surgeon. Dr. Zamora brings more than 30 years of surgery experience to Southwest Arkansas and looks forward to serving our community. Dr. Zamora performs most types of general surgery procedures and takes direct appointments or referrals from your primary care provider. Call the MRMC General Surgery Clinic today to schedule your appointment, 870-235-3600. Well, Carson Chambers still out on the mound for the Nashville Scrappers. Dog on it. He has only given up two hits in this game. Magnolia has only had, let's see, one, two, three, four base runners. They have, one of them was erased by a double play. The other three were stranded. Chambers finishes his uh, warm-ups between innings. Throw a lot of pitches here between innings to be this late in the ball game. Again, after the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. At People's Bank, you can get a free Magnolia Panthers or SAU Mule Riders debit card when you open your free checking account and get it that day, too. No waiting for it to arrive in the mail. Just another reason to choose People's Bank. Remember, FDIC. Well, top of the order due up here for Magnolia. It's a good place to start this rally. Camden Smith steps in. First pitch fouled off to the right side, and it is out of play. Smith, Sanchez, and Marshall all do up here at the top of the sixth for Magnolia. And pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Just double checking to make sure nothing has uh, changed on SAU. I don't see any changes, so there's one back to the backstop from the pitcher, Chambers. So it's two balls and strike to Camden Smith. Camden's one for two. The two hits belong to Camden Smith and Jack Waller. They each have a single off this guy. That's it. There's a strike on the outside corner to uh, the extended outside corner. It's been pretty extended for this game. Camden Smith is uh, has a two-ball, two-strike count. Chambers comes with another. Up, three and two. Panthers need base runners. Three balls, two strikes. Chambers comes in, and it's low for ball four. It's a leadoff walk. 
for Camden Smith. He is on for the second time today. Let's see if the Panthers can get him around. Get him home. Brayden Sanchez comes to the plate. Smith gets his lead. Chambers from the stretch. He delivers, and it's foul back. No balls and a strike. Keep looking over to the Nashville dugout, hoping I see somebody get up, but uh, not so far. Or at least if they have, I hadn't seen them. Here's the 0-1. That's pulled to the shortstop. Slate. Slate to second. Or one. They're not going to turn two. That ball not hit hard enough. So 6-4 on the put out at second base. One out. Sanchez is on at first base. E.J. Marshall to the plate for Magnolia. Panthers are down to their last five outs. They need, they need to get something here in this sixth inning. Sanchez gets his lead. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Throw to first from the catcher, and he's back in there. So no ball, one strike count to D.J. Marsh. Jack Waller on deck. Chambers comes in. Curve in there for a strike. They go loop and curve ball. No balls, two strikes. He's got Marshall set up. Sanchez gets his lead. The pitch comes. It's high over through. Throw to first base, and that's going to go into right field. And down to second base goes Sanchez. The catcher threw behind the runner at first base and skipped it through down the right field line. So Sanchez at second. An error on the throw from the catcher. Dalton Manlove. So Sanchez in scoring position for Marshall. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch, a swing and a foul. Scrappers have their uh, middle infielders in about halfway. Maybe a third of the way. Cheating in a little bit, even with the bag at third, first baseman playing back. One two pitch to Marshall's outside, two and two. 6-0 Nashville lead. Panthers batting in the bottom of the sixth inning. Chambers has been on the mound for all of it for Nashville. 2-2 Two -two, spins towards second, chases the runner back. It's a two-ball, two-strike count. Chambers steps back on now. The hitter, Marshall, asks for time and gets it. He's back in now. And we're ready for the 2-2 pitch to D.J. Marshall. It's on its way. And that's it right back up the middle. That'll be through for a base hit. Sanchez rounds third. He will score. Marshall tripped over the bag uh, over at first base, but he is safe. There's not, not anybody over there. The first baseman was backing up the throw up the middle. Marshall with the RBI single. And the Panthers have their first run on the board. So there's a start for Magnolia. Six to one, Nashville now. And Jack Waller to the plate. That's just the third Panther hit of this game. Jack Waller has one of the others. He's singled in the fourth. Pinch runner at first base. The hitter swings and fouls it off to the right side out of play. Good lead at first for that's Landon Sawyer over there, and that's next one's foul back out of play as well. We got the Cousins. We got one at first and one at the plate. No balls, two strikes to Jack Waller. Stepping off is the pitcher, Carson Chambers.
Here's the pitch. Ooh, that's up over his head. He had to duck away from that one. Jackson touch on deck for the Panthers. Ball and two strikes to Jack Waller. Here comes the pitch. Curve ball high. Evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Waller does not have a huge lead over there at first. Didn't want to get picked off for sure. One man is out. Two balls, two strikes. Chambers has his sign. He delivers. And that's lifted in the air out to center field. It'll carry to halter in center. Jack at first. Waller flies to center. There are two away. Jackson touchdown to the plate for the Panthers. Jackson 0 for 2. Good time to make up for that right now. We need one to hit to leave the yard. Get the, get the deficit down a little more before we go to the seventh to pitch up. Ball one. Walker Carter moves on deck. Chambers ready. He delivers. And he overthrew that one. Almost threw it to the backstop. That's well high. A fastball. Two balls, no strikes. 6-1 Nashville. Bottom of six. From the stretch, Chambers, he delivers. And that's a high strike call to touch up around the letters. Maybe, maybe a little higher. After the game, our Domino's postgame show coming your way. Carry out a deal for only $7.99, including all or one topping, topping pizzas. Foul tip. Strike two. It's two balls, two strikes to touch. He steps out. Adjusts his gloves. Now back in the box. Chambers is ready. Now delivers, and he fouls it off to the right side out of play. Count stays 2-2 on Jackson Touch. Most carryout deals at Domino's. All their one-topping pizzas included. Also, eight-piece wings or boneless chicken and the Domino's dip and bread twist combos, too. Just $7.99 each on all of those. Fabulous carryout deals from Domino's, East Main and Magnolia, and at Domino's in Camden. One on, two out here in the bottom of the sixth. A two-ball, two-strike count to Jackson Touch. The pitch on the way. The runner goes. That's line right at the third baseman, though. Touch lines to Honer, or Honey rather, at third base. And that retires the Panthers. They score a run, though. One run in the inning on one base hit. There was one error and one man left aboard. After six completed, six to one Nashville. This is Panther baseball. Investment mistakes can be costly. One common mistake is too much buying and selling. Excessive trading can run up fees and taxes and disrupt your long-term financial strategy. Another mistake is failing to create a good mix of investments. Don't try to time the market. No one can really predict when prices reach lower high points. Also, don't develop unrealistic expectations and don't make the mistake of simply comparing your investment results to those of a market index. Talk to an Edward Jones financial advisor, Laura Kroll, Patrick Dodd, Steve Hardy, or Mark Woods. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Celebrate summer with a great CD rate from People's Bank. We're offering a CD rate of 5.01% annual percentage yield for 10 months. Minimum balance is $1,000. This offer is effective and APY is accurate from June 1st, 2023 and is subject to change at any time. Come see us today at People's Bank. Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. We'll see Bank for details. Member FDIC. Well, Magna got something there anyway in the bottom of the sixth inning, so hopefully an indication that their starter, Carson Chambers, maybe is uh, tiring a little bit. Carter Chambliss to the mound for the Panthers. He came on in the fifth in relief of Gage Clover, and nobody has reached against him. He's put him down in order twice. He's got some tough hitters due up here in the seventh. The three, four, and five hitters, Chambers, Willard, and Brown, do up for the Scrappers. 
He leads 6-1. to one. The pitch from Chambliss on the way, and that's in there for strike one. Knee high on the outer part of the plate to their pitcher, Carson Chambers. Chambliss goes with the stretch, even with bases empty. Foul back to the backstop of curveball. Jason Willard is on deck, and then Tyler Brown. No balls, two strikes to Chambers. And a pitch fouled off to the left side. I think that was a backdoor slider. Didn't break a whole lot, but broke a little, and he was able to foul it off to the left side out of play. 0-2 the count on Chambers. Was pitch, breaking pitch, in the dirt swing and a miss. And the catcher will throw it down, and he threw it high and safe at first base. The throw from Stevens was high and inside, and uh, Montgomery went up and got it, but he came down off the bag and then trying to get over to the bag. Just couldn't get there in time, so Chambers beats it out, and they'll bring his uh, courtesy runner in. I think that's Hutchinson again. strikeout and then an error on the throw from the catcher so one man on nobody out there's a little number to the left side on two hops to the third baseman Alston goes to second for one and that'll be all they get I have four on the put out one away number four Tyler Brown Tyler Brown now to the plate for the scrappers Scrapper still only have one hit today. But they've got six runs on the board. No balls, two strikes. Jambless breaking pitch off the fist to the left side. Sanchez double clutches and gets the uh, lead runner there at second base. 6-4 on the put out. Two out. That'll bring Mason Honey to the plate. Honey, their third baseman. Jambless has this sign. Good lead at first, and he broke, but uh, pitcher uh, yeah, he stepped off. It, it's going to be a balk called on uh, on Carter Chambliss. The runner took off, and apparently. Uh, Chambliss broke off of the uh, the pitching rubber and didn't throw the ball. So runner down to second base. Pitch is low for a ball. And Willard had a huge lead over there at first base, and uh, he was going on first movement. Here's the 1-0. Foul back, 1-1 one one the count to Mason Honey. They've got a runner in scoring position with two out here in the top of the seventh inning. Scrappers already lead by five. Need to stop them right here. 1-1 one, one pitch is in the dirt. Good block by the catcher, Stevens. Runner down at second base took a look, but decided to stay put there. Two balls and a strike to Honey. The pitch from Chambliss. That's low. Three and one. Got a base open. Dalton Manlove, their catcher, is on deck. Pitch from Chambliss. Ground ball to the left of Sanchez. He fields and throws and gets Mason Honey. 6-3 on the put out. Scrappers are retired. No runs in the inning. On no hits, there was one error and one man left on base. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Magnolia trailing 6-1. to one. This is Panther Baseball. Hey, everyone. It's Andy Sharp, market president at Bodcall Bank. We wanted to share a few words with you that embody who we are. Here at Bodcall Bank, we believe in relationships, access, collaboration, partnership, authenticity. Why? Because we desire a superior banking experience for our patrons. Whether you're purchasing a home, opening your grandkids' first savings account, or looking to partner in a business venture, Bodcall Bank is the community bank you deserve and the premier banking experience you can expect. For what's ahead, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
It's mighty hard to resist an odor of Domino's Loaded Tots. You have your choice of three different mouth-watering toppings. There's Domino's Cheddar Bacon Loaded Tots with a perfect combo of gooey cheese and crisp bacon. Or how about Domino's Philly Cheese Steak Loaded Tots? Or last but not least, Domino's Melty Three Cheese Loaded Tots covered with a blend of mozzarella, cheddar, and provolone cheese. Plus Alfredo sauce. Add some Loaded Tots to your next Domino's order. Order online or on the Domino's app and earn Piece of the Pie Rewards. Farmers Bank and Trust has always been about local service and investment in our community. And to prove that, we've just opened a brand new full service branch in Welcome at our Arklow location. We've also opened a new My Farmers iTeller ITM for extended live teller coverage in Taylor. These branches will offer all of our great services and even more convenience for our customers. So stop by today and come home to Farmers Bank. Farmers Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. So we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. New pitcher on the mound for the Scrappers. Slate Slayton will come on in relief of Carson Chambers. Carson pitched six innings. Gave up just the one run on uh, three hits for Magnolia. He did not walk a batter. Gave up no free passes. couple of errors committed behind him, but that was all. Did not walk anyone, did not hit anyone. So Slayton on the mound now. His first pitch is high for ball one. Panthers with Walker Carter at the plate. Dale and Glass will follow. And then Carter Chambliss. Slayton's pitch lifted in the air out to left field. Left fielder Hill backs up and hauls it in. Walker Carter flies to left. One out. Panthers down to their last two outs. Well, if Nashville completes this victory, it would give them a two-game lead in first place in the 4A7 conference. They've still got three tough games coming. Pitch is high for a ball. Ball and no strikes. Another one on the way from Slayton. No! Strike called a little outside, but uh, strike call. It's been his strike zone pretty much all evening. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch, and there's another one. That was even a little further out. That's terrible, Blue. Let them play. Here's the 1-2. It's upstairs, 2-2. Two and two. Scrappers after tonight. They're at Arkadelphia tomorrow. They go to Camden Fairview on Monday, or Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure it's Monday or Tuesday. But, and then their second game next week's at home against Ashdown. Final game of the regular season down on strikes. Goes Dale in glass. He swings and misses. So Panthers down to their last out. Magnolia next week. Well, first of all, tomorrow the Panthers go to Hope. And they're at home both games next week, Tuesday against Malvern and Friday at home against Dequin. One ball, no strikes to Carter Chambliss. He's last hope for the Panthers. They trail 6-1 to one here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And a fastball, strike call. One ball, one strike to Carter Chambliss. Turner Alston hoping to get an at-bat. There's one foul back out of play. One and two now on Carter Chambliss. Slayton trying to close it out. Here's the one, two. It's high. Two balls, two strikes. Chambliss ready at the plate. Slayton on the mound. Here's his 2-2. That's popped up. Back in foul ground behind the plate. The catcher back behind the plate right in front of the backstop. The catcher, Manlove, hauls it in to retire the Panthers for the inning and for the game. 
Magnolia goes down one, two, three here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Six one is the final as Nashville winner over Magnolia tonight. Stick around our Domino's post game show coming up. This is Panther Baseball. Agger Service Environmental Solutions in Magnolia is hiring for accounts receivable, accounts payable positions. Applicants must be fast-paced and self-motivated. Exceptional organizational skills are required, and applicants must be a team player. Resumes can be sent to 